Welcome to Fighting Stats, the ultimate channel for MMA fans who love statistics and betting breakdowns. I'm your host, Art C, and I'm here to get you ready for the upcoming UFC fights. In this series, I'll be watching tape and providing my real-time analysis on how I think the fights are going to go. I'll be watching for fighters' strengths, weaknesses, tendencies, and overall strategies, pairing that with Fighting Stats' exclusive UFC stats not available anywhere else to give you a prediction on how I think the fights are going to go and, ultimately, who's going to win. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Welcome to Fighting Stats. Welcome back to Fighting Stats. I'm your host, Artsy, and today we are continuing on with Malcolm X Gordon here. He takes on Francisco Figueiredo. Uh, if you recognize the name, it's the brother of Devison Figueiredo. Uh, Malcolm Gordon, uh, if you were with us in the last fight, losing by round one KO to Sumer Darji. Uh, before that, lost uh, by round one submission to Albazi. Uh, so he's on a little bit of a skid here. Malcolm Gordon, 0-2 uh, uh, in the UFC, uh, fighting Francisco Figueiredo. Again, for me, it's sounds like uh, uh trying to set up figueredo with sort of a gimme fight but worth noting got malcolm gordon plus 265 in this fight figueredo the big name uh coming at the plus uh, sorry minus 310 favorite here so let's see how this fight played out here's malcolm gordon in the red trunks switching it up figueredo there in the yellow trunks so right away gordon with a takedown attempt that's different from what we've seen before right away on a leg uh, grabbing a single leg putting the leg between the, the outside there Malcolm Gordon pressing Figueredo up against the fence has the far side underhook the left underhook working some knees nice knee to the thigh from uh, Gordon nice outside kick there again uh, Gordon's coming off of a knockout in his last fight it's been eight months since that knockout nice turn there from Figueredo back to the center of the cage Gordon with the jab. Another long jab. Looked like he did it stumble there. Jab there. Uh, uh, hold on, hold on. I want to see if he got stumbled or uh, Figueredo landed. Sorry, let me see. So he comes forward. Figueredo throws a kick, misses. Now Gordon's going to really overextend on this straight right. Over, he lands it there. Oh yeah, he just stumbled. He landed a straight right, really extended, sort of jumped into it, uh, and then stumbled there. Now he's still coming forward. Gordon's the one level changing for a takedown. Looked like they were both level changing there from the from the pressure. Gordon in a single leg here up against the fence. Figueredo defending with the leg on the outside. Really attempting this takedown here. Drops the single leg back to the knees to the thigh there. Good head position from Gordon off the cage. Going for an outside trip. Gets the outside trip here. But let's figure it'll just reverse him and get right into mount. Oh my goodness. What a bad sequence there. So he goes outside trip here. Drags Figueredo down. This should be at the end of it. The momentum stopped. He's on his back. Uh, Gordon should be able to pop up and get into top position. But let's figure it'll just bridge right into mount. Well, right into half guard. Now it's Figueredo on top. Ooh, man. So Gordon trying to get that full guard back. Uh, he has that left knee there. Uh, figure it looks like he's passed. Yeah, full guard. Uh, sorry, half guard. Gordon shrimping to his left or to his right. Uh, double unders. Got a lot of space there to get up. Uh, Figueredo looking to get that left knee there, working on the left knee there, back to half guard. <clears throat> Good arm pressure in here from Figueredo. Elbow on the head. Uh, also worth noting, Figueredo actually, uh, after this fight, he goes 2-2 two and two in the UFC, hasn't fought since 2022, uh, so worth noting that there. So Figueredo here still on top. 
still in half uh, up against the cage here. Look like Gordon's trying to get up on that side. Figueredo's going to attempt or at least attack a guillotine. Gordon not doing anything really, just holding on, triangling the legs. I guess the fence is there on his right side, so it prevents the escape from that side. Uh, he regains full guard, toes in the cage, circles him back. Now it's head up against the fence. Nice elbow there from Figueredo. <clears throat> Using the fence to reverse, Figueredo recognizes it, stands back up. Still toes in the cage there, trying to set up a triangle. Figueredo again realizes it, stands up. Neon belly trying to get into a uh, half guard here. Again, Gordon, his his defense here is just holding on to the back, uh, double unders. Nice uh, shots to the body there from Figueredo. Oh, big elbow there from Figueredo. Yeah, I haven't seen anything special off of Gordon off of his back here. It's been three and a half minutes here. Uh, Gordon really just holding on. Toes in the cage again. Close guard here and full guard. Figueredo posturing up again, trying to step into it. Rolling back for a knee bar or an, a heel hook. One minute left. I think that was a mistake. He had the position. He was working it. Uh, I'm not a real fan of like dropping down for knee bar. Now you've given up position here. Now it's Gordon on top. So it's Gordon with some big elbows, big punches here from top. Uh, left elbow there from half. Right hand to the body there. Uh, I want to make a mental note here. We'll break it down here. Gordon landing a decent number of shots here from the bottom. Uh, from half guard, uh, he had a minute to work on top. Figueredo gets full guard back, so even there he lost position there. Uh, right hand to the body from Gordon. Feet on the hip here from Figueredo. 15 seconds left. Figueredo still closed, just still, just sort of limiting the damage. Nice elbows there from Gordon. Nice elbow there. So Gordon a little bit busier on top with a lot of ground and pound. I'm curious to see if Gordon won that round, stole that one because Figueredo dropped down for the, uh, the heel hook. It looked like if Figueredo doesn't uh, drop down, uh, Gordon has nothing for him off his back. Uh, so no replays there. Let's see here, round two. Like, what, what, what happened there? Again, run forward for the takedown? Drop, drop, drop. Oh, jumping right hand misses, another jumping right hand miss. I don't like how low his hands are. Watch here. Low hands are low here. Almost a headbutt. Another look like he sort of level change there. Knees open up anything in the open. Another right hand misses. Goes for, for the clinch. Almost put his head into the knee. Gordon here. Let me just rewind it here. Reach down for the kick. Turn on the overhand. A little bit short on the overhand. Jab in on a takedown single leg here. Grabs a single leg. Trying to drop Figueredo down to his left side, but he's not going. Nice balance so far from Figueredo. Figueredo also attempting or attacking a neck. Uh, so Gordon has to be cautious here of which way he goes. Looks like Figueredo's on the neck. He just lets it go. Back to standing here. Nice one two from Gordon. Don't think he landed the two, but landed the jab. Nice jab there. 3-2 from Gordon. No, oh, nice two from Gordon as well. Nice straight right again. Hands pretty low from Gordon, I would, I'm going to say. Reaching a little bit on his strikes. Another two in. Now he's attacking a takedown again. Not the greatest takedown. Stops the uh, transition to the back. Now he's in on a single leg, trying to work the single leg. Now he's going to get back to his feet. Figueredo again. He's going to be trying to attack a neck, I would assume. Yeah, Gordon's not going to get the single leg here. He's going to have to switch to a double. 
still has his hands clasped nice uh, his elbows are open i think figure if he wants to respond with elbows uh, again he has both hands under the leg easily defends and figure just circles off oh nice right hand from gordon nice one two misses left hand there oh hands low for figurato as well gordon lands a one two Front kick from Figueredo switches this to Southpaw. Again, Figueredo is super hands low, relying on this head movement here. Inside kick from Figueredo, jab from Gordon. Naked shot there. <clears throat> Lisa's Gordon coming forward with the forward pressure. A little long on the two. Yeah, he stumbled it again. Throws the two, throws the right, uh, the left hook, and then just stumbles. Nobody even touches him, and he's stumbling here. Halfway through the fight. Left hook there from Gordon. Uh, naked shot, a Goldberg spear. Grabs one leg, uh, easily shucked off there from Figueredo. Tries a two on the break, doesn't get it. Jab misses from Figueredo again. One, two. Gordon looking for that uppercut. Again, looking for a shot. How many takedown attempts is this for Gordon? Holy. Another jab, a little bit short on the two. Another long straight right hand there. Yeah, uh, Paul Fodder mentioning no leg kicks so far. It's all been punches. There's an inside leg kick from Figueredo. Nice jab there. Nice knee up the middle. Gordon with the high guard still. Left hook, right straight, misses. Nice right hand from Figueredo. Another straight jab. Looks like he can really get straight punches through on uh, Gordon so far. Another right, uh, left hand lands and left elbow lands. One, two from Figueredo. Right hand, right hand. Another left elbow from Figueredo. Nice right elbow from Gordon. Left hand, right hand. Nice knee. Outside low kick from Figueredo. 50 seconds left in this round. Grabbing the hands a little bit. Nice inside low kick from Gordon. Misses on the two. Pushes off. Another straight left from Figueredo. Gordon trying to circle the outside. Slowing down a little bit. Another left kick there. Trying outside trip there. Gets an outside trip there. All right. So it's Gordon here on top. 20 seconds remaining. And he's just going to sit here in uh, full guard here. We saw some ground and pound at the big end of round one. Uh, here he gets the takedown, uh, sort of recovering a little bit. I think he's slowing down. So going to use this 10 seconds here to rest, uh, find the end on top. Uh, I thought that was a figurative round up until the takedown. Don't know if you can give much credit to the takedown at the end of round two, uh, but I thought that was a figurative round. I thought he was winning round one as well, and then round one is up in the air because of the last minute. Uh, with Malcolm Gordon on top. Uh, so it could come down to the third round. Either Figueredo's up 2-0 or it's 1-1 uh, going into the third. Malcolm Gordon does look a little bit tired, uh, but so does Figueredo. Round number three. It's a towel right. All right. Woo. All right. I'm going to have to back that up. All right. Look at this. Jumping knee gets <laughs> Oh man, he went for a jumping knee. Malcolm Gordon gets him down. Now he's right into side control. Uh, kids, this is how you give away a fight. Uh, you were literally winning it. Dropped down for a heel hook and lost that round. And went for a flying knee and now ends up on bottom. Malcolm Gordon's been shooting takedowns all fight. 
Hasn't been able to get one except for the last round in round two. Got that outside trip for 20 seconds. Now what do you do round three? The first thing you do is throw a jumping knee uh, and you end up on bottom here. You might as well just gift him the fight. All right, so Malcolm Gordon here on, on in full guard. I'm looking to see if he does anything from top. We saw a little bit of ground and pound here, but uh, in the third round, considering it could be 1-1, I think the priority is position. Even there, figure it almost able to elevate there and get the position out, but uh, Gordon's going to want to be chest to chest. There's no risk of uh, standing back up. He fought so hard in the second round for a takedown. Uh, you really don't want to give up this uh, position here. Um, Figueroa looking to elevate there with butterfly guards. Yeah, there it is there. Elevates him right back into guard though. He's going to stand up. Uh, Martin, Martin Gordon uh, realizes it. Very close to getting up. He's able to keep the position again, right? Uh, 3.30 left in round three. So he's, he's going to keep top chest pressure here. Uh, I'm going to throw some um, you know, right hands there. Not doing a ton of damage. But it is Gordon on top. Two minutes into round three here. I'm going to fast forward this. He's Figueredo pleading to the referee to stand them up. Not going to happen. Figueredo right foot on the hips. Trying to push away. Uh, Gordon able to get the position back. Trying to grab the hand behind his back. Two on one. Figured Radel trying to wall walk to stand back up. Gordon here now he's uh, in on the back. Some ground and pound here. Looks like Figueredo should be able to stand up though. Yeah, there it is there, and he gives it up. So now, <laughs> oh my goodness. So not only does Gordon let Figueredo stand up here. This is fine. Like this is a hard position. You really want to get like most of your weight on Figueredo's back, uh, but Figueredo able to slip out a little bit slippery there. Overcommits to holding on and then gives up his own back. Now it's Figueredo on the neck. Figure one hook in. He, he has that fence there on that side, preventing the left hook from getting in. Gordon two on one, uh, watching the arm there. Mark Gordon's going to try to spin and turn into uh, Figueredo here. A little bit. Okay, let me see. I tried to fast forward it too much. All right, Figueredo breaks off, looking to want to break off. Gordon looking to grapple, uh, wrestle. Outside trip doesn't get it. Still on a single leg here. Really desperately grabbing. Now he switches to a double. Another switch there, back to a single. Figueredo, nice hips. I say it's you know a little bit of Gordon's takedown attempts uh, versus great takedown defense from Figueredo um, yeah so it's Gordon attacking a takedown here Figueredo defending Figueredo was really looking to uh, you know break off get some space Gordon making it a ground <laughs> oh my goodness so here Gordon's on the Gordon's uh, working the clinch here over unders 50 50 right um, normally the position the person uh, with his back up against the cage is at a disadvantage you can see here uh, Figueredo using that outside trip on Gordon able to get Gordon down and now it's Figueredo on top in half guard one minute left I don't think based on what I've seen Gordon's gonna get up here 45 seconds left Get oh my goodness! So from here, from half guard, looks like he puts his knee down, gets into mount, figure it out in mount. Gordon minus six hundred on the live line. Oh again, again. Figure it out too high here. Rolls for an arm, doesn't get it. Lets Gordon get right back up uh, on top. Clinching here up up at the fence. Uh, figure it out back on top again. Uh, yeah. Gordon celebrating like he won. Let's hear these scorecards. 29-28. Was 30-27. 29-28 and 29-28. Malcolm Gordon celebrating. Figueredo can see it already. Okay. So, 
Gordon, congratulations to Malcolm Gordon. Gets his first win in the UFC, uh, fighting the brother of UFC champion there. Um, I'll be honest, uh, not too impressed uh, from what I've seen. Uh, Figueredo, again, was winning that first round. Uh, he had him there, and then Gordon um, Figueredo, if he doesn't drop for the heel hook, Figueredo easily wins that round. It didn't look like anything was happening there for Gordon. Uh, in the second round, you could see Gordon really struggling for the takedown a lot, trying to grab the takedown, not able to get it. Uh, Figueredo able to keep it standing, and then within the last 20 seconds, um, got the takedown. I thought Figueredo was winning that round, that second round, clearly. Um, to me, if I had to guess the 29-28, Gordon winning round one, uh, Figueredo winning round two, and then Gordon getting this round three. And then you saw the third round, Figueredo opens up with a jumping knee, giving uh, Gordon th two, two and a half minutes, three minutes of uh, control time there. Figueredo still able to reverse, still get on mount. We saw some positions up in the cage uh, where he got taken down uh, in mount. Just not the best grappling that I've seen from Gordon. Really struggled on those takedowns. On the top really wasn't able to do much. On the bottom really wasn't able to get out there. You know, he's looking for the ground. And then when he gets it, he's not really showing anything there either, right? On the feet, he lo does look hittable. A little bit overextending uh, on the strikes a little bit. So nothing too impressive so far from what I've seen from Malcolm Gordon. Again, it's a tough schedule. He makes his UFC debut. He finally gets a win uh, here as the underdog. So we're going to continue watching Malcolm Gordon, seeing how he does. Uh, my name is Art C, and this is Finding Sense. Thanks for watching. All right, guys. Well, that is it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this sort of content, make sure you smash the like button. Hit the subscribe. You'll get notified anytime we put out new content. And remember, here at Finding Sets, I lead a team of expert data scientists. We are working around the clock to produce these exclusive UFC stats, not available anywhere else. We do our tape study. We pair them with our stats. We put out our best bets. We put our best bets to patreon.com slash finding stats. That's where we put all our analysis, all of our stats. Join patreon.com slash finding stats to get exclusive access. Recently, we just hit $82,000. Yes, that's right. $82,000 parlay on what fight. We use our fighting stats to get there, and we won a massive payday. Our Patreon members uh, had exclusive access to that, so they shared in the profits there. So don't miss out. Make sure you subscribe today. Again, my name is Art C. This is Fighting Stats. Thanks for watching.